and uh, dictionaries proper. And then we've even got some of these big honking Webster's dictionaries around. Paul Ferrace from USS Cod and I have been in a competition to see which of us could come up with the most pedantic topic possible for YouTube video. And uh, I think I might have him beat this time. His pencil sharpener video uh, got me last time, but I think uh, we've got him beat with all of the dictionaries on the battleship. <laughs> Welcome, fellow wordsmiths. I am your host for Wordsmith Hour. I am Professor J. P. Dantic. Tonight's program, we will discuss Chaucer and the Flying Saucer. But before we begin our delectable program, I find it necessary to chastise and castigate one Ryan Zamansky of the Battleship New Jersey. It has come to Professor P. Dantic's attention that this curator has not the slightest idea of the basic tools of the English language that we wordsmiths use on a daily basis. In his recent attack on my beloved friend and colleague, Paul Ferrace, who I am not, he was talking about dictionaries. Well, yes, everyone should have a dictionary. By the way, Mr. Zamansky, the big Webster's Dictionary you referred to is known by us in the wordsmith profession as an unabridged dictionary, unabridged in that it contains the full flower of the lexicon of the English language. Yes, in your words, it has all of the words. It is unabridged. And Professor J.P. Dantic will refrain from using some of the most coarse words in reference to you tonight. By the way, it has also come to my attention that you grievously mispronounced Roger's thesaurus. Ryan, say it after me, Roger, Roger, Roger's thesaurus. Oh, we got that straight? Thank you. And while we're at it, let's talk about yet another indispensable tool of wordsmiths. And I'm speaking of familiar quotations by John Bartlett, also known as Bartlett's Familiar Quotations. Now, Mr. Zemanski, you should be aware of this indispensable tool because your own associate, Miss Libby Jones is in fact included in the most recent copy of Bartlett's Familiar Quotations. Let me just turn to that citation from one Libby Jones, and I quote, more walky, less talky. And also a second citation for her, and here it is. Save it for the video, dumbass. Quite important. So, in the future, one should remember these things. Uh, and also please understand that nothing in the historic milieu is really pedantic. Because it is all important mosaic tiles in the rich image that is history. Perhaps not all tiles in the mosaic are the, the eye of Zeus or the, the beautiful smile of the Mona Lisa. 
Some are just the blue sky tiles or the green grass. Yet together in symphony, they create the rich image, the rich tapestry that is our language. And as I say farewell to you, Mr. Zemansky, let me remember and quote another great thinker of our time, Mr. Ric Flair. To be the man, you gotta beat the man. Arr! Keep that in mind. And now, Chaucer and the Flying Saucer.